All right, I want to start this uh, video here. This is um, in response to a, uh, a simple mathematics problem that's been showing up on uh, Facebook. Uh, the problem I'm referring to, it's a, a problem where it says, I uh, bought a horse for $900. I sold it for $1,300. I bought it again for $1,400. And I sold it again for $1,700. How much did I earn? Uh, so before we get into it, I wanted to just say something about earnings. Uh, earnings, uh, companies' earnings are considered as after-tax net income. Uh, it's a company's bottom line or its profits. Now, this is meant to be like a third-grade math problem, so we're not getting into things like feed, taxes, all that stuff, you know, transportation costs, vet bills. That's that's for something else. That's for like a farm, for an economics class. This is meant to be a simple elementary problem, elementary school problem, to test your knowledge. So uh, I want to get past that part of it. So once again, the problem says, I bought a horse for 900 I sold it for 1300 I bought it again for 1400 I sold it again for 1700 How much did I earn? Uh, the other thing I want to cover we don't know how much money this guy has to start with. Uh, I've seen a lot of people get hung up on that, and they're saying things like, well, he only had $900 to start with, uh, or things like, well, gee, when he sold it for $1,300, how could he possibly buy it for $1,400? Because he's only got $13. Um, those are they're kind of ridiculous statements. I mean, nobody knows how much money he's got. I mean, has anybody looked in his wallet? His bank account, this guy might have thousands of dollars. He might be a millionaire. We don't have any idea. Um, we have to assume that he's able to buy these things. You know, it's like it's like saying you go to the grocery store and you buy 50 bucks worth of groceries. Well, I don't know how much money you had when you went to the store. Did you go to the store with $10? Well, then you couldn't buy $50, right? Maybe you went to the store with $1,000 and you only spent 50 the whole point of it is we don't know how much money he started with. So just to make this thing simple, I'm going to start with $1,000. I'm going to say that our guy over here, this card represents our horse trader, okay? He wants to buy, um, he wants to buy a horse. Um, and we're going to use this card to represent the horse. This card is going to represent another person that we're dealing with. This is going to be the person that we're buying and selling back and forth with, okay? Uh, this is just a stack here, so we don't. This is nothing. So this, these are our ten thousand uh, dollars here to start with. That's what we're going to just make an assumption. This could be twenty thousand dollars. This could be a million dollars. I'm just doing this for an example to make it simple, so that some you can count through it. Uh, you know, if, if you're confused, get some pennies out. Get some monopoly money. All right, so let's just start this thing out. Uh, the very first thing we say is that he buys this horse for $900, right? So we're going to go give this other guy 900 Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, $900. Now we've got to take the horse. Comes over here. We have a hundred bucks left over. Now, um, we bought it. We have the horse. Now, uh, after a while, this guy decides he wants to sell it. He says, "Hey, I'll sell you the horse, but I'll sell it to you for thirteen hundred. All right, so thirteen hundred dollars. All right. So first of all, we're going to bring our thousand back. Two hundred, three hundred, four hundred. 500, 600, 700, 800, 900. Let's see where we at here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. All right, that's our 900. So we've got 900 back. Now we're going to go 1,000. 1100, 1200, 1300. All right, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There's 1000. OK, 
Okay, here's the rest of it. We've got fourteen hundred dollars now altogether. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen hundred. So we started this thing with a thousand, right? We gotta give the horse. Okay, we sold the horse. So the horse comes over here. So now our guy has fourteen hundred dollars. So what happened? We went from a thousand dollars to fourteen hundred. That means in the first sale. Uh, well, this first set of transactions, we made $400 profit. We started at $1,000, now we have $1,400. Okay, so now the guy wants to buy the horse back again. Okay, he can't make up his mind what he wants to do. So he's got $1,400. He's going to give it all, man. He's just going to give it all, all $1,400. So let's move that money over here again. So that's $1,400, right? $1,400. It's taken me a while. This is why I didn't do a million dollars, because I don't want to be dragging these chips all day long from one side to the other. But, you know, for some people, this may be the only way that it makes sense, because I have seen every crazy answer under the sun. All right, so now he's got the horse. What has he got? He has got the horse, but he doesn't have any money of the thousand of dollars, right? So if everything stopped right now, he's got a horse, and all of his money's over here with this other guy. Um... So later on, he decides, hey, I really don't want this horse, but now I want to sell it for $1,700, right? So he's going to sell it for $1,700. So now this guy's got to give him back his money, $1,700. Okay, we got $100, $200, $300, $400, $500, $600, $700, $800, $900, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1
And I would, at the end of the day, I would still come out with $700 more than I started with. So I'm hoping this video helps a few people. Uh, this is a little bit better, hopefully, than the video I made before with a bunch of drawn up money. But uh, I'm just trying to get the point across that this stuff is really, really simple. This is like a maybe a third grade math problem. And I'm seeing like 90% of the people coming in and slaughtering it, coming up with things like 200 bucks. You know, $100 loss, 600 bucks. Uh, some people are saying 800 Some people are saying, well, it's the same horse, and the only thing that matters is what I paid at the beginning and what I paid at, you know, what I got at the end. They're saying, like, hey, I paid 900 at the beginning and sold it for 1700 at the end of the day. That's all that counts. That's 800 bucks. I, I mean, I don't know where people get that idea. There's two different sales. You can't ignore it, you know. You can't ignore that. So, anyhow, I don't want to dwell on it. Um, this is what it is. Um, if you don't agree with it, I don't know what to tell you, but this is what it is. So, thanks. Hope it helps.